Get some of that. Some of the herbs. Don't make it too big because then you can't fold it. Fold it up into this little cube right there, a little ball. Mmm. everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in pouring rain, Busan, South Korea. It is the worst day of the trip, but we're not gonna let this rain bring us down. We're gonna go have an incredible Korean breakfast. We've been looking around and we found some place right here in Centum City called Hopako, which is like named after a pumpkin. They, it looks really nice, very cozy restaurant, wooden tables, and I think they have a big feast for breakfast, like lots of vegetables centered around like a pork and maybe a soup, right? And after this, we're going to Shinkenze Centum City, the largest department store in the world, according to the Guinness World Records. They actually open at 11 in the morning, so we have about an hour and a half before they open. Let's go inside and eat some delicious Korean breakfast. And here we go, another epic breakfast in South Korea. Look at this, we've got like 10 different items. Oh my God, we have the two stars of the show right here, and then we have all the banchan, which are the side dishes. So basically, this is what we have here. We have fish cake with like a little bit of spice, we have like lettuce, right? And that goes paired with the spicy pork with spring onions. We have kimchi, spicy kimchi. We have a thick soybean paste right here. Oh, that looks amazing. We have some herbs right here. We have an egg souffle. Looks really good, I haven't tried this yet. We have more herbs. We have rice. And here we have a tofu soup with a soybean base. Wow, I mean, this looks incredible. This I love, this I love. I mean, I love it all because I love freaking vegetables. So the way it works here is that you have to go get your utensils, right? They're right here. Bam, got the spoon, got the chopsticks. You got your napkins. <laughs> napkins right here. Before you start, they always give you a little, you know, a little wet wipe. Clean your hands a little bit. If you want to clean your face. Oh, that feels good. Man, the rain outside is horrible today. The worst day I've, I've had in a long time traveling. It's like, can't even believe how, how wet it is outside. All right, anyways, let's start. I'm gonna start here always with the fish cake. Oh man, this is so good. Here we go. Mmm. Super thick fish cake. Oh, it's delicious, not too spicy. More like a sweet and sour sauce. A little bit of cheese in there, but it's really good. Mmm, super tasty. Wow, that was awesome. Next up, we have the kimchi. And in case you guys don't know, there's over 200 types of kimchi here in South Korea. Some are, you know, I personally don't understand the differences. What I've seen is different is always the spice level. Some of them are very low, some of them are like boiling hot. Oh yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> I know. Whoa, that was really spicy, man. No water? No, it's just totally the water right there. Kimchi also differs by its sourness. So sometimes it's really sour, sometimes it's like almost not sour at all, right? And right here we have the soy bean paste. Oh, this looks super nice. Oh, wow. It's really potent. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. It's like, a, it's like a soy bean jam. A little thick. Wow, bro. I haven't had this before. I suggest not getting too much, but I love it, so mmm. I'm gonna mix up one of these later. Wow, that's awesome, man. Next up, we have some herbs. This looks hot. It looks really spicy. Oh my god. Mmm. It's not really herbs, it's more like a like seaweed mixed with spices and chilies. Oh man. I mean, if you really like spicy stuff, you'll love this breakfast. So far, everything has had a kick to it. Wow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the egg souffle. First time trying this in South Korea. It basically is like a flan. Very soft, almost like a gelatin-like consistency. It's, it's a little bland. I would add some, maybe the soybean paste to it and give it some like kick, you know? But it's okay, pretty good. Now we got some more herbs. This looks like, I don't know, it could be like spinach. I have no idea what this is. Mm. Super nice and crunchy. 
Mmm, super fresh. Oh, sesame seeds on top too. It's really good, but enough of the vegetables. Let's dive into the main dishes. I'm gonna go with this one, the pork, the spicy pork. Wow, look at this, man. This is so good. So I'm gonna have a little bit alone. Mmm, not spicy at all. Mmm, just very tender, very fatty. Got some spring onions. What you're supposed to do, always, always in Korea, to give you the lettuce. So you always look a little lettuce wrap with pork. Got some of that. Some of the herbs. Don't make it too big because then you can't fold it. Fold up into this little cube right there, a little ball. Mmm. It's a great contrast between the lettuce and the pork. So I really love it. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it up, okay? I'm gonna get some of this, right? A little bit right there. But I'm gonna also put the soybean paste because I wanna give it a kick. I'm guessing that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know if you're supposed to just eat it like this, just straight, but. Oh man, soybean paste. So see, I put a little too much of the pork so I can't really wrap it completely. Just the intensity of the flavor to another level. Mmm, man, you just love how tender the pork is. The pork here in South Korea is really amazing. I mean, I compare this to like what I get like in Texas in terms of like barbecue stuff. That's so good. I'm gonna eat the rest of that. <laughs> but then here we have the tofu soup. So what do we have here? Soybean base, tofu. You got onions. You have some greens. I think there's some seafood in here as well. You got some mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of stuff in here. So the soybean paste right here, that is used as the base for the soup. So it's gonna have a little cake, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna get some of this, right? Mmm. Mmm. A little cake. Mmm. Oh, amazing. I got everything right there. I got the mushroom, got the onions, super soft tofu. Oh, it's just like, they give you a lot. Look at that. This can give you so many vegetables. And before, I forget, let me try some of the broth alone. Nice broth, not fishy at all. So I don't think there's, there is that much seafood in here. But it's a little spicy. Oh, food, that's, that's hot. Oh, I like it. Mm. And yeah, guys, that is basically it. I've tried everything. Wow, a lot of food. I think me and Sam are gonna devour every single thing before we leave. And I think both of our favorite was this pork, right? Grab some of the pork. So juicy, so greasy put it into that lettuce. And I was inspired by what you did. You grab the, the soybean paste. So I'm gonna do just that. But instead of just having it as a big uniform clump, I'm gonna try to spread it around, wrap it up, take a bite. <laughs> mm. 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 The soybean paste takes it to a new level. It gives it a whole different flavor. A lot more saltiness. Mm. It's so tasty. I feel like we appreciate this breakfast even more today just because like of how much it's raining outside, how we got wet, we had a little trouble like getting around and to come inside and dry off, have nice warm food like this. I feel like I appreciate it like 10 times more than a normal day. This has just been fantastic. Because it's raining so bad outside, we decided to go underground through the metro system and when we got to the other side, there was actually an entrance right here underground. Dude, let's go check out the biggest department store in the world. They're right there. So as soon as we entered the mall, we had to go up some escalators, and then we made it here into a huge department store. Right here to the right, we have a lot of food, and then we have like shoe racks, we have cakes. I mean, so many different things. I mean, it's like, it's like non-stop different types of vendors. We have Starbucks right here, and then yeah, there's like a bakery. Wow, the cakes here are so good. Oh my god, they're like round shaped cakes. I've never seen this before. This is crazy. Oh man, strawberries. So dude, we just found a section, like kind of a little bakery. It looks like they're making a whole bunch of different sweet and savory buns over there. Fresh out of the oven. So this mall is huge. Seven floors. There's so many different vendors. There's like, you know, shoe shops, lots of different food vendors, a lot of fast food. And right here on the fourth floor, we have an ice rink. Ice rink, dude. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. 
I can skate, so I wish I could put on my skates and, and go for a little uh, rip around the ice. I'm a Canadian, man. <laughs> I, I was born with my skates on. It's been a while since I've done that, so I won't get out there. But yeah, I mean, it's really early. The mall just opened. It's very empty, but there's still people eating. And yeah, we're just gonna explore a little more and see what we find. So we just had a short visit to the biggest department store in the world. It's really, really impressive. It's super massive. I mean, I think it's nine plus stories and a basement level. They have like a spa land. They have, a, you know, arcade games. They have every single brand you can imagine from Gap all the way to super luxury like Prada. They also have a lot of food items from like restaurants to the super fast food and the ice skating rink. I think that was the most impressive part for me because it's really nice in there. I actually don't ice skate, but my boy was going to do it. He decided not to. <laughs> But yeah, if, you, if you're ever in Busan and you want to see the biggest department store in the world, I highly recommend going over there. It's in Centum City, you know, it's on the other side of town over this huge bridge. And for me, the best part of the day was the breakfast. I mean, the delicious Korean, massive Korean breakfast. My favorite thing had to be the soybean paste mixed with that pork on that lettuce. Oh, so good, so delicious, super healthy. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, his channel, and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Busan, South Korea. Peace.